In this video, I will show you how to create a patch pocket and how to sew it on a garment. I already have an outfit here. I have a long sleeve crew neck and a pair of pants. And you can see in the 2D window that I already have a patch pocket here on the top. I will show you how to create something similar and sew it on the garment. For now, we just need to work in the 2D window. So let's go in the 2D window and we'll be working on the pants. I'll give myself plenty of space here so I can create the pocket. Come to the polygon, rectangle would be a better tool. Make sure you don't go in the internal or baseline tool. Just select the shortcut S if you like, that might be easier. And now I will create the desired shape of the pocket. So for now I will create a rectangle and I'm kind of eyeing to see the size that I like and wait for it to synchronize. I actually want my pocket to have a little bit of an extension and a point here. So I'm going to come to edit pattern tool, right click on the line where I want the point and click on split, 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 split. Where is the split here? So I'm going to do it again and click split. So the reason I didn't see it before is because I had the whole shape selected. Uh, Chloe is so robust and has so many sub menus that you really need to watch out and be careful what exactly would you like to achieve. So again, I had to click away, click only on the point where I want to split the line, right click on it and I get this split line window. And you can see that we have a yellow line here and a blue line measurement, which is right here. And if it looks like this is okay for you, great. I actually want to be more exact and more in the middle. You can either adjust the measurements here or you can just click on uniform split and that will split the line as close as possible to 50 50 meaning 50 percent 50 percent and you can see here that it's not perfectly exact but it's exact to the decimal point click ok and if you're happy with this you can leave it like that but i actually added this point because i want to have a little bit of an extension what i did is i clicked on the keyboard the arrow key to go down and that brought my pocket point a little bit lower. You can repeat that until you're happy. And I actually right now feel like this pocket is too high. So I'm gonna stay in the edit pattern tool, shortcut Z. I'm gonna select the top two points and I'm just gonna, again, click on the arrows down once, maybe twice and see if you're happy with that, I went back up. Now I'm gonna grab the whole pattern. So I clicked on transform pattern and select the full pattern and what I want to do is I just want to hover bring the whole pattern piece here just to see if it looks good on top of my uh, pant. You can bring it back make it smaller larger whatever you like until you're happy with the shape. Now I am happy with the shape and I would like to uh, sew this pocket. Now you can if you want to have it on one side you can leave it like this if you want to have it on both sides of the pattern you can right click and you can create a symmetric pattern with sewing. We want to create it with sewing so whatever you sew for this pocket will actually stitch for the other one. So I'm going to create with sewing that will give me the duplicate and I'll place it on the other side. So now whatever I create for this one will happen exactly the same way with the other pocket and you know that because we have this blue outline so if you forget you can always check if it has this blue outline you know that it's symmetric pattern with sewing we're ready to stitch this we need to come to the m free sewing tool you can click on m or select it from here and now we will stitch the pocket if this was a fully enclosed patch that you wanted to create here you would stitch all around but that's not the case and you can see here that I don't have any stitch lines I have nothing to sew this pocket to so we would need to create that first so let's select the full pattern right click on it and select so I clicked on one of the lines and select clone as internal shape that will give us the whole shape now we can place the pocket shape here and that will give us an internal shape to which we can stitch the pocket okay 
when you have the shape here you can also grab the full shape make sure that you're in transform pattern tool shortcut a you can come here and you can rotate this to your desired location and you can have it slanted you can have it straight however you like now I will make it a little bit slanted to the inside as I feel like that will make your butt a little bit skinnier a little better you can do it the other way whatever whatever shape you like so my personal preference is this way we have a pocket and in the internal line here and we'll have to do the same for the other side as it does not really duplicate the internal um, shape trace so I am in the transform pattern tool I'm selecting the whole pocket right click on it and select clone as internal shape and place it here and again you can uh, while it's selected you can adjust it to your desired slanted angle if you like that and now all we have to do is stitch the pocket to this outline so you can select the segment sewing tool or shortcut n and i'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better this line is a little hard to see but let's start from the side left click once and make sure that you're going to the same exact side on the pant we'll do the bottom and make sure that you're matching the notches this one is to the left we'll do the same here and this one you can if you move your mouse you'll see moving up or down the notch so if you select the lower part make sure that here you're also on the lower part notice that I am not stitching the top part is that will actually um, stitch the pocket down we don't need that and I can see I still have a little point there I don't need that point We'll delete that point and let's go to the other side we are still in the end segment tool and let's stitch this one make sure that all of the lines are matching and the last side and our pockets are now stitched let's go to the 3d window take a look at that I'll give myself a better view you can see here that the pockets are down on the floor so if I click simulate let's see what happens they will simulate over that top see on one side it actually got resolved and it went under the shirt but on the other side it didn't quite resolve it actually placed the pocket on top of the shirt we don't want that so I'm gonna undo and the easiest way to actually do this is well go to the pocket right click on it and select superimpose over so that will place it and you can even move the shirt a little bit do the same for the other one right click superimpose over and you can see now that this one seems to be over the shirt there's a couple of ways we can fix this the easiest one is to just grab the shirt and just pull it out a little bit and you can adjust so you have more of a side view pull it out a little bit then simulate and you will see the pockets falling into place perfectly the only thing I need to do here is I need to give these pockets a color so I'm going to open my property editor object browser I don't need the property editor actually just the object browser select the two pockets and assign the fabric that you like and if you want it to be colorful or if you would like one of them to be a different color you can certainly do that so let's take a look at the 3d window and we have our pot patch pockets sewn onto the pants 